priming my eyes using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And today I'm going to be working from the Stila in the Light Palette. And I'm taking the shade called Bliss. It's just a really nice light neutral shade. A color similar to it would be Bamboo from MAC. And I'm just using this as my transition shade. Frappe from Makeup Peak. It's kind of like the shade we were just using except for it's a few shades darker and it's a lot more warmer in tone. And I'm just taking this on a Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm just going to be blending that back and forth through the crease. Then I'm going to go back to Bliss on this other blending brush and I'm just going to use Bliss to help blend the shadows together. Now I'm taking Kitten, and I actually like this eyeshadow better than their original Kitten. This one has a little bit of a gold bronze effect to it, and I really like it. And if you want to take Fix Plus to make it more intense, you can. By the way, the camera is doing this no justice because it actually looks so pretty in person, but the camera isn't picking it up. Now I'm taking this Makeup Forever eyeshadow, and I'm just focusing this more on the outer corner and then blending it up a little bit. I don't want it to go too far to the inner corner. Then I just went back with my normal blending brush and just blended everything up. Now I'm taking Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm just putting it really tight up against my lash line. I don't have a clip so I'm just explaining it to you. I'm wearing lashes so putting this really close is going to help them not look so fake. And now I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I actually prefer to curl my lashes after putting on mascara because I think after you have mascara on the curl holds better because then your lashes have some texture and from it being wet it just holds better. That's just my personal preference though. And I'm going to be adding Red Cherry Lashes in number 28. I'm not using this pair that you see in here. This one is cut but I'm just using a full pair. Then I'm going in with the Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Primer. And I'm going to be adding my foundation. I'm using L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever. I love it. And it's from the drugstore, so it's like a bonus. And I noticed that my face does look a little bit pale. Um, it's a little bit lighter than my neck, so I am going to be going in with the Dr. Pericone No Bronzer Bronzer. This product was actually made because he has a foundation, and it's only in a couple shades, so um, obviously women with darker complexion are going to need something so this is actually made to mix it in with foundations in case you want to like self tan you don't have to buy a whole bunch of foundations. Now I'm going in with concealer. I'm using the new um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and then I'm going to be going in with Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Concealer Wand. Um, I'm not sure what they're called but I'm using the pinker one just to put a little bit underneath my eyes and then the more yellow tone just to highlight the, um, just some of my face a little bit. And I'm trying out a new brush for concealer and so far I like it. And I'm just going to speed through this process because um, you can't see it anyways. Sorry I thought it was in the camera but clearly I wasn't so. And I am going back with my beauty blender just to blend out my highlight and just to make sure that everything's blended out. Just setting everything with my Anastasia banana powder. And again, I'm sorry that I wasn't in the camera. I didn't even realize that. So I'm just going to fast forward through this. Then I'm taking this Clinique brush. No blush <laughs> sorry and I'm just putting it on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it back now I'm using this hourglass blush as a blush topper and I like using this as a blush topper because it's a little on the sheer side and this brush really shears it out doesn't make it super pigmented so I really like using this brush then I'm highlighting using Becca's Moonstone and I'm using this little brush just to get it really precise and I'm just putting it on the tops of my cheekbones. And now I'm just putting just a little bit just above my eyebrows. 
Now I'm taking this limited edition MAC bronzer. It was from their Alluring Aquatic collection, I believe. And since I didn't contour, I'm just bronzing up the skin a little bit just on my jawline and my forehead. And then I'm just cleaning up my under eye, or my, uh, under my blush, sorry. And now I'm just filling in my eyebrows using Max Cork eyeshadow, like always. And I did fast forward it because it's not that fun to watch me fill in my eyebrows, I feel. So I'm just going to speed through this process. Then I took Ice Queen from Makeup Geek to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. I don't usually use this on my brow bone. It's my favorite for the inner corner of my eye. But today I decided just to use it on my brow bone as well. Then I'm just going in with NARS Rube on a part and putting that on my waterline. This is my favorite eyeliner for spring and summer. And then I'm taking this Makeup Forever eyeshadow and I'm just putting that really close against my lower lash line. And then I'm going back with eyeshadow Bliss from the Stila palette and I'm just taking it on a pencil brush and I'm just blending out my lower lash line. Then I'm taking this MAC Pro Longwear lip liner called More to Love and I'm just using that to line my lips. And it's the saddest moment ever because my favorite lipstick is broken. So I'm just patting that on my lips then using a lip brush to blend it out. <laughs> 